Winners, butt kickers, champions in life. What is going on, peeps? Vincent Rose here, H2G Fitness, coming to you from my kitchen. And uh, I wanted to do a real quick cooking video with you guys real quick. Promised some of my clients that I would put this video out probably about a week ago and just now getting around to it. Um, but I figured I'd share it with all of you because it might help. Here's the deal, right? When you first start your diet, your calories should be high. Your carbohydrates should be high. Your fats should be high. Your protein should be high. Your cardio should be low. Way, 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 really low. However come, after three months of dieting and beyond, your calories are gonna be lower. Your fats are gonna be lower. Your carbs are gonna be lower. It is a progression of incrementally and slowly decreasing carbs, fats, calories, while slowly increasing cardio until you get to a point where you are shredded. That being said, for those who are towards the two-third mark or towards the end of their diet and their calories, carbs, fats are lower, right? You have to start figuring out a way to eat that will enable you to stretch the amount of calories that you have and not feel hungry throughout the course of the day. You might start your diet at 2,800 calories, 250 to 300 grams of carbohydrates. You might end your diet from 2,800 all the way down to 1,600 calories. And your carbs might go from 250, 300 all the way down to 75 to 100, right? It's a lot less carbs to play with. When that happens, you have to make smarter choices with your carbohydrates. You're going to have to start eliminating some of the complex carbohydrates from your diet. Um, the sweet potatoes and russet potatoes got to go. The white rice and brown rice, they got to go. The uh, oatmeal and uh, grits or couscous and beans, they got to go. They don't got to go. You can keep them in, but they're going to rack up uh, carbs so fast that you're going to be hungry throughout the course of the day because you're eating so little, or you can eat in a manner uh, which, like I said, stretches your calories. I'm gonna show you a very simple meal on how to do that. This meal will only run you 389 calories, and that's if you use the amount of protein that I use, which I have to check, but it's over 70 grams of protein in this meal, which you're probably not gonna do. Therefore, yours won't be 389. For you, this will probably be a 250 to 300 calorie meal, and here's what's cool. There's four ingredients, three seasonings, takes about seven minutes to make, and we'll get rolling with it here. So the four items I'm using, right? We got grilled chicken, which is already pre-cooked, pre-cut. We got canned green beans, which I know I get crap for, but I love these things. I do not eat them for the nutritional content. There is no nutritional content. But two thirds of a cup is four grams of carbohydrates. If you're only consuming 75 grams of carbs a day, I can eat two thirds of a cup with every meal eat four meals and I've only racked up 16 grams of carbs and I got lots left figuring out how to make calories and carbs stretch. I got a bag of frozen mixed vegetables and I got some eggs over here, right? Throw this stuff in here. I got my uh, pan right now that's on a food scale, right? Two thirds of a cup. Let me spray this down real quick. Two thirds of a cup is 121 grams. I know that because I've done this over and over and over again, right? And all I'm going to do is just start adding at it, adding items in. So, got our green beans, easy enough. Zero out the scale. Let's add in some mixed vegetables. Serving size is 75 grams. So, we'll put in two serving sizes of this. A little bit too much. Good to go. I'm looking for eight ounces of chicken. Seven point three. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So I got eight ounces of cooked weighted chicken, cooked with cooked chicken, right? And for me, I'm gonna use four egg whites. What I'll start doing is throw this in the pan, start cooking it up. I don't have to show you all the entire process of cooking it. So I'm gonna stop it and show you what it starts looking like once I'm mixing it up in the pan. All right, guys. So this has been cooking up maybe four or five minutes, something like that. It's already done. Egg whites are mixed in. Four items, four to five minutes in. 
Gonna start adding seasonings. There's three things that I use for this. Good old Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning, right? Frank's hot sauce, because there's no calories in it. And Sriracha sauce, because there's very few calories in it. Vincent, that's a whole lot of sodium. It's a ton of sodium. Here's a tip. Sodium has nothing to do with the ability to lose body fat. Doesn't affect you even a little bit. I know everybody is all big on this is dash and going low sodium and you gotta watch your sodium intake. Why? And what? how many calories are attached to salt? None. Okay, then why can't you have it? Because some fitness person said I can't. Why else? I don't know, that's just what I've always heard. I'm telling you differently, right? You can be lean, low body fat percentage, have no problem at all losing body fat and have tons of sodium. Just saying, you actually can do that. So here's what it looks like in the pan, right? It's a big pan of food. Keep in mind, this is only 389 calories. That's it. So very simply here, take my Tony Sacheries, do it this way so y'all can actually see what I'm doing here. And I just put a good amount, actually. I take my Franks. Well, let's do this. Let's mix this up first. Boom, 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 boom. I'm no crazy, awesome, ridiculous chef, but I can put four items in a pan and stir it, right? This is not like some huge culinary achievement, what I just accomplished right here. I took four things, I put them in a pan, I turned it on for five minutes, voila. Take some Franks, add this in the mix, boom, boom, boom. And last but not least, good old Tony Sacheries. I use a lot, because I'm a freak with this. And what are you left with? A big, beautiful pan of food, right? This is 389 calories. That's it. 389 calories. I'm going to set it up here on the table. Well, I don't even got to show you setting it up on the table. Here's my point. This entire meal is only 389 calories. It's... I'll post it here, so I might be quoting these wrong. There's only five grams of fat. I checked, it's like 62 or 63 grams of protein, which is more than what most of you guys are gonna have. And the carbs are something like 14, 14 or 16 grams of carbs, I'll double check. And I can eat this meal if I wanted to. If I'm dieting, dieting hard, end of my diet, right? Calories are their lowest, carbs are their lowest. I'm starving. I can eat this big, huge, massive, which by the way, right, this video is not doing it justice. Most of you could eat this in two or three sittings, right? That's how much food it is. And I'm eating it all in one because I like stuffing myself till I feel sick. I just do. I like buffets. I like feeling full. I like my stomach being filled. I can eat four. I can crush four of these big, huge, massive meals a day, get shredded all day long, my carbs won't go above 80. My carbs will actually be at like 60 to 70 by the end of the day. 70 to 80 range, something like that. That's it, that's all. This is how you stretch calories. This is how you make big, huge, hearty meals. This is how you diet without starving yourself. And this is an awesome way, right, to make the dieting experience, quote unquote, more pleasant for you. So hopefully this helped. A little bit of a longer video than what I wanted it to be. I'm going to crush this right now and then get back to answering some client messages and go about my day. Hopefully this helped. Vincent Rose, H2G Fitness. The future is bright. Something good is happening. You guys take care. Be blessed over and out. Peace.